voila! A perfect crime. Ted will never know. That's not my magnifier. What do you mean? It's a magnifier. It magnifies and everything? No. This is my magnifier. With the lens missing. Which I'm sure you broke recently. You've replaced the lens with your mom's glasses and glued them together with kids' glue. That's preposterous. Never have I ever. Okay, never mind. This will do, I guess. Let's head out. So nice to see you two working together again. True friendship is never... Okay, forget it. I'm going back to the office. Mr. Bear, I know you wouldn't let Little Miss wander around alone, now would you? Why? Is your exaggeration after her? Listen here, Mr. Bear. Little Miss needs your help. Her brother is missing. Now, you clean yourself up, get your head straight, and help her out, or else. Yeah, that's right, Mr. Bear. Sure, gang up on me. Anyways, we should get going. I don't have all night. Let's head out. Watch my back, Ted. box filled with all sorts of stuff. Really, just all the imaginable, useful things I need right now to solve this mystery. Packed inside a single cardboard box and left in the middle of the hallway. It's just closed, doll. I know. Do what with it? The use of the color green is what makes this painting stand out. It's just so vivid and beautiful, you can almost taste it. That's just... It's just weird. Yep, it's weird. It's a fishing village, somewhere on the coast of Norway, probably. I'm so glad I got dragged out in the middle of the night to look at the paintings hanging in your house. What else am I going to do, right? It's a ham, bacon, lettuce, and mozzarella cheese sandwich on pimento bread. It's mounted on my wall, and it shines. So it's like a sandwich that's also kind of a lamp. It belonged to my grandpa. I don't think it works, but it sure is loud. There's some chain thingies inside. It's locked. A random, generic, asset place to occupy empty space. Let's pretend there's something inside. Like, like... A golden retriever puppy just for you, doll. Oh my god! Is it really? I can't... I want to... Can we take him out? I'm gonna call him Cookie and walk him every day and... Yeah, no, it was a joke. No one would put a live dog in a sealed box with no air holes. Dumb dumb. You're just so mean. The accentuated, almost reckless brushstrokes could be an indication of the artist's lack of formal education. Rather than paint with methodical, almost sterile precision, he instead attempts to convey his inner turmoil through his paintings, making his work better appreciated through sheer emotion. What the hell are you talking about? You're just such a caveman. A lamp. Nothing else to it. It shines. I can see where I'm going. But... If I can see where I'm going, that means I'll hardly ever get lost. So, this lamp is like a beacon, reminding me that wherever I am, I can just look around and I'll find my way back home. A door that leads to the attic. No, really, that's all there is to it. It leads to the attic, hence the name, The Attic Door. Plantae regularis, a common plant found in most households, I guess. It's 
so dark in here, Ted. I can't see anything. The light is busted. We'll have to find a flashlight or something. It's locked. But why? This is mighty suspicious, doll. Wasn't there a hole in the study wall? You know, that one that you used to crawl through when you were younger. You're right, Snoop. Maybe I can still fit through. It's worth checking out. Wait, it's locked. But why? This is mighty suspicious. You're right, Snoop. Are you even trying? Are you even? Be careful, you two. Rest. Hey there, Rust. It's been a while. Sure has, Snoop. Still walking the beat? Not lately. I finally took some time out to sort things out. He's pretending he's retired. It takes a lot out of him, apparently. Well, you couldn't have picked a worse time to retire, Snoop. Things are getting close to boiling point down in the city. What's going on, Rust? Wish I could tell you, Bear. I'm as clueless as the rest of them. One thing I know is that I was working at the steel mill one day. The damn place got blown up. We've heard rumors about some red man. Know anything about that? I sure do. He's the damn reason all this is happening, Bear. So this red shows up down in PC. This was a week ago. He goes after the thugs first. Gathers information and such. No one thought nothing of it. A couple of beaten up low lives here and there. It's a common trade with these guys, you know? Then, the fire started. I hear a couple of guys down from the coal district gathered a posse, trying to corner this bird. No one heard from them since. And those guys are miners, Bear. They're as tough as nails. Who is? Those guys, Ted. What kind of information is he after? Well, here's the funny part, Snoop. I heard he was asking a lot of questions about our beloved miss here. That's why I'm here. After Doris and the kids left the city, I figure I'd come here and make sure Amber stays safe. Now, don't you be dragging her on one of your ill-advised adventures, Bear. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Anyways, why would this guy be going around asking about her? You know anything about this, doll? Anyone whose life you're messing with? Besides mine, I mean. Angry boyfriend, perhaps? Don't get smart. I never heard of this red guy until tonight. Besides, you're the only man in my life, Bear. Who's getting smart now? So, what kind of information is this guy after, Rust? Haven't I told you about this already? He's asking about our little miss here. Is he alright? He's fine. He's just sleepy and grumpy. And, like, totally not drunk. Nah, I'm fine. I'm just sleepy and grumpy because she dragged me out in the middle of the night on some wild goose chase. Nice to see you two are getting along after all these years. We've heard the city is in lockdown. Sure is. It's been like that since the mill exploded. 
The official statement is that there was a gas leak down in the basement level, but we all know better. How'd you escape? I used the East Tunnel maintenance shaft, but the thing was getting close to collapsing. I think they closed it off completely after I got through. So no one leaves or enters the city at this point? That's what the lockdown implies, Bear. Folks are still escaping, though. I hear some of them got here through the tunnels. Them mugshot boys were the first to flee, and poor old Millie. I hear she got here safe. Millie's in my room. She's resting. Bless your kind heart, little miss. I'll stay here in the hallway. Keep an eye out. Can you do it, Rust? You seem kind of tired. I ain't no bunny, little miss. Some buster tries to pull a fast one on me, I'll give him a little chin music before I drop a dime on him to the elbows. Um, what? He's saying he can do it. So you think it wasn't an accident? You think someone is trying to cover something up? I wouldn't go that far, miss. My suspicion is that the officials don't want to make a big deal out of it. Keep the folks at ease. What about the mill owner, that Deeds fella? He made any enemies lately? Filed any big insurance claim or something? Nah, Bear. Mr. Deeds is a straight-up bird. Besides, his son was down at the mill when it happened. Kid got a little ear buzz is all. Have you seen Flint, Rusty? Millie told me he might be missing. I'm sorry, little miss. I'm afraid I haven't seen your brother. But I'm sure he's fine. Flint is a tough kid. Besides, no one has left or entered this room since I got here. You know anything about the Yellow King? Not really. I guess they left the thing wide open. Like, open to interpretation. I personally didn't think much of it. Well, we better get cracking. Catch you later, Rust. Sure thing, Snoop. Thank you, Rusty. Bye. Bye, little miss. Don't worry about your brother. I'm sure he's all right. I see three anthropomorphic mailboxes dancing to the captivating beats of the J. Summers Jazz Quartet. My old trusty lamp. I never walk around this hallway without her. A painting, or is it? It's all dried up, serving as a reminder of life's fleeting nature. For when you get tired of walking up and down this hallway. A save point. Nah. Subscribe now. Do it. Yes, you. You right there.